Story short, the committee took up the bill, but it could still be a few weeks until members decide how to move forward. Gaveled in, the Assembly Appropriations Committee took up Senate Bill 14 right away. We cannot afford not to pass this bill today. Authored by Bakersfield Senator Shannon Grove, the bill seeks to classify human trafficking of anyone under the age of 18 as a serious felony in the state of California. It would categorize it under the state's three strikes law for reoffenders. That could lead to increased jail time and penalties for convicted traffickers. Selling a child to be raped over and over again is a crime that's so grotesque immoral and barbaric, it should be prevented and stopped at any cost. But speaking of costs, because the bill is expected to cost the state more than $50,000 annually for the general fund, in part due to incarceration expenses, per protocol, the legislation was placed on what's known as the suspense file, giving members of the committee a few more weeks to review its fiscal impact and decide how to proceed. Victims and survivors, we want to put them first. Grove spoke to us after the hearing, saying she's disappointed members did not vote today, but... We're just going to continue to fight on to support these victims and survivors. It all comes after Democrats on the Assembly Public Safety Committee earlier this summer did not vote in favor of the bill. After intense backlash, though, they re-voted and brought it back. Still, opponents have concerns it could lead to victims who may have been forced to cooperate with their traffickers to also end up prosecuted and behind bars. Assembly Public Safety Chair Reggie Jones-Sawyer wants to see amendments made to the bill to address this issue. We believe we're going to make this so much better. Than what, it is, than, than what it was before. But Grove argues the bill will help victims, not hurt them, and says she does not believe it needs amendments, noting it already received widespread bipartisan support. Obviously, we want to see the bill move forward and go to the governor's desk, and hopefully he'll sign it. As for survivors themselves, they hope the overall message is not lost. The hope is that people who continue to reoffend will not walk free. Victims deserve justice for what was done. And the committee is expected to formally vote on the bill next Friday, September 1st. Reporting at the state capitol, covering local news that matters, Aton Wallace, Fox 40 News.